Hello students, let's start with a new topic from the chapter fluid dynamics that is equation to viscous laminar flow. The derivation of Hagen Posseus equation for the laminar flow in straight circular pipes is based on the following two assumptions. A viscous property of fluid which follows Newton's law of viscosity that is tau is equal to mu du upon dy. Second, there is no relative motion between fluid particles and solid boundaries that is no slip of fluid particles at the solid boundary. For the flow of viscous fluid through circular pipe, the velocity distribution across a section, the ratio of maximum velocity to average velocity, the shear stress distribution and the drop of pressure for a given length is to be determined. The flow to the circular pipe will be viscous or laminar. If the Reynolds number that is RE is less than 2000, the expression for Reynolds number is given by RE is equal to rho VD upon mu, where rho is the density of the fluid flowing through the pipe. V is the average velocity of the fluid and D is the diameter of the pipe. Mu is the viscosity of the fluid. Consider a horizontal pipe of radius r. The viscous fluid is flowing from left to the right in the pipe as shown in the figure. Now over here we can see the radius is given to us as r and the direction of the flow is from left towards right. Consider a fluid element of radius r sliding in a cylindrical fluid element of radius r plus dr. Let the length of the fluid element be delta x. If p is the intensity of the pressure on the face ab, then the intensity of the pressure on the face CD will be P plus del P upon del X multiplied by delta X. Then the forces acting on the fluid element R, the pressure force that is P multiplied by pi R square on the face AB over here. The pressure force P plus del P upon del X into delta x pi r square on the face cd which is over here. The shear force tau multiplied by 2 pi r delta x on the surface of the fluid element that is over here. As there is no acceleration hence the summation of all forces in the direction of flow must be equal to 0. That is P pi r square minus P plus del P upon del x multiplied by del x pi r square minus tau into 2 pi r into delta x should be equal to 0, which can also be written as minus del P upon del x into delta x pi r square minus tau into 2 pi r into delta x is equals to 0. Now this can also be simplified as minus del P upon del x into r minus 2 into tau is equal to 0. Hence tau can be written as minus del P upon del x multiplied by r by 2. This is my equation number 1. The shear stress tau across a section varies with the radius as del P upon del x across the section is constant. Hence, the shear stress distribution across 
a section is linear as shown in the figure. Now I can see the shear stress distribution is linear. This shows the figure A part shows the diagram for shear stress distribution. Velocity distribution. To obtain the velocity distribution across a section, the value of shear stress that is tau equal to mu d u upon dy is substituted in the above equation 1. But the relation tau is equal to mu d u upon dy y is measured from the pipe wall. Hence, y is r minus small r and dy is minus dr. So this becomes tau is equal to mu d u upon minus gr which can be written as minus mu into d u upon dr. Substitute the equation 1 we get minus mu d u upon dr is equal to minus del p upon del x r by 2 or I can say d u upon dr is equal to 1 upon 2 mu del p upon del x into r. Integrating this above equation with respect to r, we get u is equal to 1 upon 4 mu del p upon del x r square plus c. Again, this c is known as constant of irrigation. And this is my equation number 2, where c is the constant of integration and its values obtained from the boundary condition that at r is equal to capital R and u is equal to 0. So this becomes 0 is equal to 1 upon 4 mu del p upon del x capital R square plus c. So the value of constant is c equal to minus 1 upon 4 mu del p upon del x into R square. Now we will be substituting this value of c in equation number 2. Now we get u is equal to 1 upon 4 mu del p upon del x into r square minus 1 upon 4 mu del p upon del x into r square which is equal to minus 1 upon 4 mu del p upon del x in the bracket capital R square minus small r square and this is my equation number 3. In equation 3 value of mu del p upon del x and r are constant which means the velocity u varies with the square of r. Thus equation 3 is equation of parabola. This shows that the velocity distribution across the section of the pipe is of parabolic nature. This velocity distribution is shown to us in the figure b which shows that this distribution is of parabolic nature. Ratio of maximum velocity to the average velocity. The velocity is maximum when r is equal to 0 in equation 3. Thus, maximum velocity u max is obtained as u max is equal to minus 1 upon 4 mu del p upon del x into r square. This is the expression for maximum velocity, which is my equation number 4. The average velocity u is obtained by dividing the discharge of the fluid across the section by the area of pipe, which is pi r square. The discharge q across the section is obtained by considering the flow through a circular ring element of radius r and thickness dr as shown in the figure 1b. The fluid flowing per second through this elementary ring. This is my elementary ring. So dq is equal to velocity at radius r multiplied by the area of ring. So this is u multiplied by 2 pi r dr. Now u is minus 1 upon 4 mu del p upon del x multiplied by capital R square minus small r square into 2 pi r dr. Now integrating this value from 0 to r, we obtain discharge that is q. So this becomes minus 1 upon 4 mu del p upon del x 
मल्टीप्लाइड बाय कैपिटल आर स्क्वायर माइनस स्मॉल आर स्क्वायर इनटू टू पाई आर डी आर नो फ्रॉम दिस वी टेक दिस होल टर्म एस कांस्टेंट एंड इंटीग्रेट फ्रॉम जीरो टू आर द फॉलोइंग टर्म दैट इस आर स्क्वायर माइनस स्मॉल आर स्क्वायर इनटू आर डी आर व्हिच बिकम्स वन अपॉन फोर म्यू माइनस डेल पी अपॉन डेल एक्स मल्टीप्लाइड Which is one upon four mu minus del p upon del x into two pi r square into small r square upon two minus r is to the power four upon four from zero to r. So after substituting the value r, this becomes one upon four mu minus del p upon del x into two pi r is to power four upon two minus r is to power four upon four. So this gives me pi upon eight mu minus del p upon del x into r is to the power four. So the average velocity u bar is equal to discharge upon area, which becomes pi upon eight mu minus del p upon del x r is to the power four divided by pi r square. So the average velocity is given as u bar is equal to one upon eight mu minus del p upon del x into r square, which is my equation number five. Dividing equation four by equation five, we get u max upon u bar is equal to One minus one upon four mu del p upon del x r square divided by one upon eight mu minus del p upon del x into r square. This whole term and this whole term gets cancelled, so the final value is two. Therefore, the ratio of maximum velocity to the average velocity is two. Drop of pressure for a given length l of a pipe from equation five. We have u bar that is average velocity is equal to one upon eight mu minus Del p upon del x into r square or minus del p upon del x is equal to eight mu into u bar upon r square. So integrating the above equation with respect to x, we get integral from two to one minus dp is equal to integral of eight mu u bar upon r square dx. Therefore, this becomes minus p one minus p two is equal to eight mu u bar upon r square. In the bracket x1 minus x2 or p1 minus p2 is equal to 8 mu u bar upon r square x2 minus x1, which is equal to 8 mu u bar upon r square into L. Since x2 minus x1 is equal to L from this above figure, which is equal to 8 mu u bar into L divided by d by 2 the whole square. Since r is half of the diameter or r is equal to d by 2, so p1 minus p2 is equal to 32 mu multiplied by u bar into l divided by d square, where p1 minus p2 is the drop of pressure. The loss of pressure that is p1 minus p2 upon rho g is equal to h f, which is 32 mu into u bar into l divided by rho into g into d square, which is my equation number six. Equation six is also called as Hagen-Poiseuille's formula. Thank you.